Good morning. My name is Brad Strauss, one of the nurses working in the clinic. How may I help you today? Good morning, Brad. I am here to get some advice on my daughter's condition. All right. Definitely, I am happy to help you. Well, how may I address you? You can call me Steffi. Okay, Steffi, please tell me what advice you are looking for. Nurse, my daughter is having frequent nightmares. I would like to get some advice about how to deal with it. I am sorry to hear that. Can I have the name and age of your daughter for the records, please? Sure, her name is Ashley and she is four year old. Thank you. Steffi, for my better understanding, please explain more details about Ashley's nightmares. Nurse, Ashley starts to have a nightmare two weeks before. Initially, I didn't bother too much. But, as days passed, it started getting worse. Last week, she had a nightmare four times. Her sleep is getting disturbed, moreover she is panicking. I can realize the situation. May I know how you manage the situation? Well nurse, most of the days, I woke up in the middle of the night hearing her screaming. She will be crying and won't let me move from her bed. I will sit alongside her, till she falls asleep. Thank you for your information, Steffi. From your words, I really came to understand the situation. First of all, let me explain to you about childhood nightmares. Okay. Childhood nightmares are very common, and not to be overly concerned about it. This will usually be self-limiting by age 7. I can reassure you that she will overcome this as she grows up. Alright. For your better understanding, I would like to outline the usual causes of nightmares. That will be of great help, nurse. Mostly, if a child comes across new situations or had experiences, it will influence the child. Which turns out to be a nightmare. Next, if your child has some worries, it will trigger such conditions. Another interesting fact is that, if your child is having an active imagination state, the child will be imagining the situations, which will also result in such conditions. Okay. Well, it can also be due to overstimulation. Overstimulation happens when children are swamped by more experiences, sensations, noise and activity than they can cope with. Now Steffi, did you find any relevance in these to your child's condition? Actually nurse, Ashley is so obsessed with the stories. She used to listen to stories either on television or narrated by any of us. Will it result in overthinking and cause the problem? Yes Steffi. Her obsession with the stories can be the reason. To analyze the situation, let me explain the likely trigger for your child's condition. Okay, you may please. I suspect her habit of listening to bedtime stories might be triggering her. The stories she is paying attention to are, making her think about it subconsciously. Which makes her, have an active imagination, resulting in nightmares. Oh, I see. Try not to worry about it. I will provide some suggestions for the prevention of nightmares. Most importantly, avoid exciting stories or TV programs at night. Since she is having nightmares at present, we have to create a calming bedtime routine for her. Listening to melodious and pleasant songs or music, having sweets, jokes or activities that make her laugh etc. for the time being, it is also important to use nightlight to make her void of the dark atmosphere. It sounds great. I think these are very practical things. Indeed, I will try your suggestions. Thank you for accepting my suggestions. Beyond these, I would like to give some advice on the management of nightmares. The foremost thing is to discuss her worries or any concerns with your child and try to provide solutions to all and make her confident. Secondly, make her stay calm so that her mindset will be pleasant and settled. Always try to comfort her and distract her mind from triggering factors. Definitely, I will take care of it. Steffi, there are certain things you need to be cautious about. I'll explain them to you. There are some risks associated with sleeping with your child after she had a nightmare. If you do so, it will make your child more dependent on parents, which in future will have negative effects. Moreover, the association of a nightmare with being alone will increase, as a result her fear will also be at its peak, whenever she becomes alone. Try to avoid those mistakes. Of course nurse. I will avoid such mistakes. I hope, I have clarified all your concerns. Yes, definitely. Please feel free to contact us for any queries.